It is your grateful Emmy Way Aggie J, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hello, welcome to my channel, sweetheart. Don't mind the stains. I'm not dirty like that. This was just a one-time thing. But go ahead, click that subscribe button. Thank you. Um, you guys like this video? Give it a thumbs up. Um, also share it if you can to your social media or some prom baby around the USA can see it hopefully get an idea or recreate the look if they do make up themselves if they do not send them my way I am in the Midwest area okay I'll have that link down below where they can book on my website this was a request via Facebook go ahead at me on Facebook sweetie Add me on Facebook because Facebook get all the what y'all want to see next. And they said a prom look, so I did a prom look. I hope you guys like it. I hope you enjoy. And I hope you come back <laughs> for more. Okay. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching. And let's get straight into the look okay hello everybody this is a voiceover i'm going in with the black radiance fix and set long lasting setting spray it's only five dollars at walmart I uh, you can put this before your makeup or after i'm gonna do it for both i put on my little headband because makeup gets in this pink hair and it stays that there's the next pore filler and a, a mini there, that's the big one. One is $14, the other one is eight. So if you're on a budget, you can get the mini girl. I'm just gonna put that in my areas where my pores are a little larger, which is my nose, on the sides of my nose, and my chin. Rub that all in. First you pat, then you rub. I think y'all know that, but if you are new here, welcome and you pat before you rub. Alrighty. All right, so next I'm gonna go in the NYX Liquid Illuminator Born to Glow and just put that on my face, mainly in my highlighted areas and just rub it all in. I'm using this because I want a little dewy finish underneath my makeup. And like I said, you pat and then you rub it on and then. Primer is very important. I used to think that it was a scam, but it's not, you need to do that. I just put on my eyebrows and I'm going in with the NYX Conceal Correct Contour Palette and using that orange shade just to correct my um, dark spots and bags underneath my eyes. Right now I'm going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in 355, just putting that in my contouring areas. Now here is where I spilt that on my shirt, so I ain't no little musty girl. I just spilled foundation on my shirt. Okay. Now that is the Fit Me foundation in the shade 334. I'm just gonna put that in my highlighting areas and mix the two foundations in together with a foundation brush. And as you can see, I dab, I pat, I pat, I pat. And that's how you're gonna get the best results, sweetie. You wanna just push that into your skin and not swipe it with everything. It doesn't matter what it is, with everything. Now that is just a um, Real Techniques beauty sponge. It is damp, of course, and I'm just pushing that foundation into my skin even more. Now I'm going in with a smaller precision concealer brush and just pushing that foundation in even more around those distinct areas like my eyebrows and my nose. Now I'm going in with that Fit Me Concealer in the number 10. It's the shade 10. I'm just putting that all over in my highlighting areas and yeah. So now I'm 
gonna go in with the NYX Conceal Contour and Correct Palette. And I'm just gonna take that contouring shade with a lip pencil and get right onto the sides of my nose. I'm really precise when it comes to my nose because um, it's either you execute this completely or it goes left and it's horrible. So that's why I use a precise brush. Now I'm going in with the Morphe R8 brush and just gonna pat that contour shade onto my contouring areas and later blend them out i'm not gonna blend them out right away i'm gonna do my concealer first that there is the 110 face shape brush by zoeva i'm just gonna go in patting that highlighting concealer into its place not spreading it but just patting it on in Right, just blending out that contour with that Morphe R8 brush on your forehead you want to blend back on your cheeks you want to blend upwards because you don't want to elongate your face nobody wants a long ass face that's what you're gonna get if you blend down um, on your jawline you want to blend down into your neck because you want to snatch that jawline bitch so you can look real real and on the nose, just go up and down, you know? Simple, simple. That there, I'm gonna go in with the Real Techniques buffing brush and just blend my contour and highlight together more seamlessly. This does make a difference, gal. Like, it makes me look perfect. So, blend everything. Everything should be blended. That's a must. And I'm patting. Now I'm going to go in with that black opal setting powder. It's a deluxe finishing powder in the color medium. I love this powder because of the color. It's perfect for my skin tone and girls dark like me. Also, it's good for creasing and oily people. It keeps the oil in. How I know this is because when the summertime come, it be having a bitch looking bad, okay? And I'm just putting that all where I highlight it, like exactly where I highlight it. Do you see me with the point of that wet, damp beauty sponge, putting it right where I highlight it? Because that's going to give me that more snatched nose, the more snatched contour. You guys, I feel like I always start out like really, really professional in the beginning. And then I get like really, really ratchet at the end because I want y'all to know that I'm professional. But I am ratchet too. Okay. Okay. Except me for who I am, sweetie. All right, moving on to the eyes. I'm gonna take this Fluffy BH Cosmetics brush and my Beauty Trees palette that is a neon pink. Um, another palette that has a neon pink similar to this one is the Morphe 35B palette. Uh, I think this one's brighter though. I'm not gonna lie, I love Morphe, but yeah. And I'm just patting that in into a half moon circle. Now I'm gonna go into the crayon variety palette and take that light orange and a another Zoeva brush I don't know the number if you want the number of that brush comment down below and I'll give it to you in the description and just putting that into my transition area just so those two colors can blend together I'm just building that pink back up Y'all know what I say, you blend, you pat some more on, and you blend again, and just when you thought it was blended, you blend again, again. Okay? I was saying it right there. <laughs> Alright, so now I'm going in to cut the crease with the NYX eyeshadow base in white and my favorite brush. Easy. Because this one is more small. This would be for like somebody with a smaller eye. I have a lighter eye. I don't have a big eye, but I have a wider eye. 
um this would be good for hooded eyes but when i have clients who have big eyeballs why am i explaining this to y'all i'm just looking for a new um cut crease brush that's all that's it i be thinking y'all my friends y'all ain't my friends <laughs> I want to give my newbies or beginners or my prime babies um you want to tap that cut crease onto um position instead of like creating a line i don't know some people have an easier time creating a line depending on your eye but i know that i have the easiest time when i do other people's eye shapes as well as my own patting that line on first and then filling everything out now i'm going in and just making sure that i have no creases because you don't want to set anything with creases in it because that crease will be there for life auntie now i'm just going in with some translucent powder and my real technique setting brush and just setting my lids because i want my colors to be bold pigmented and not creasy because i have really my eyes creased up that there is the what is those palettes called i'm gonna switch it out anyway so I didn't like how that white was going on, so I took my um, Saharan palette by Juvia's Place and I took the color, I don't know that color. I'll list it down below. Just comment down below and, and let me know if y'all want me to fill the description with everything that I did not mention. But yeah, I took that icy frosty color and put that right on to the beginning of my cut piece. And it looks gorgeous, sweetheart. Like, it looks good. I'm talking about it in the video. Like, damn. But now I'm just going back in and I'm packing in that pink shade that we got from the Beauty Treats palette. That was the palette I was trying to say before. But yeah, packing that in on the outside of my lid. And now I'm going back in with that orange from the Crayon palette. So basically what I did was just use that white and then the two colors that I used for my transition shade, I used it to fill in my half cut crease. And that's a flat brush, of course, because we want that color to be very, very bold and bright. Y'all see how I didn't have to use a flat brush for that um, beauty treat stove? Don't sleep on the beauty treat. You guys, you know this is that Elf Jumbo um, eyeliner pencil, and I'm just putting lining my lid. I don't know where the visual of the NYX glitter glue went, but that's what I'm putting around my lids. I'm just putting that in the areas where I want to place my glitter. Now, you're going to see me putting the glitter on my lid. You're not going to see the type of glitters because I literally have my glitter in a big ass case. And I ain't spilling my glitter for nobody, okay? So what I do is I started out on the end of my cut crease with a chunkier fuchsia glitter. And now I'm going in, filling in the middle with a glitter that's more closer to my hair color. And in the inner part, I'm going to use a white iridescent green glitter and just pack that on until I'm satisfied with the glittery look. All right, the glitter I do show you here is the NYX glitter, I think in the number seven or three. Like I said, you guys, if you want um, me to go in depth in the description, just comment down below and I'll write everything in there. And I'm just packing that on to just add more flavor to my glittery eye. Now glitter is just isn't just a pack on and go. Like glitter, when you're mixing glitter, you really have to make it look like something. So just keep that in mind. So now I'm just going in with the e.l.f. liquid liner. I always do this to make my liner more bold, darker, and prominent. You guys, my liner was not the best in this video because I got irritated and I'm tired of it showing up. Like, I want to have feelings that don't show. But anyways, that is my lashes. I'm just going to pop those on. If only it was that simple to pop on lashes. So. 
And I'm taking that M401 Morphe brush. I remember the numbers and the letters, girl. Look at me. And dusting away all my baked powder and all that. Also, if you are not oily, do not bake, please. Just put place the powder on your face. Don't bake. I bake because it's good. It, it, it goes well with my face. I keep putting my hand up in the video because I need my hands to match my face, sweetheart. It needs to all coincide. My body is like three tones. You stay two, but I got like five tones over here. That there is my e.l.f. powder brush and the Maybelline um, Matte and Poreless Press Powder Foundation. And the color Mocha. And I'm just pressing that in because sometimes when I bake, I feel like I get too highlighted. And I like to look brown because naturally my face is darker than my body. Now I'm just going in with my regular contouring powder palettes and a Lux cheek brush by Zoeva and just bronzing up my, well I'm not bronzing up, I'm contouring, I'm powder contouring my face. So that there is me just contouring my nose with a pencil brush from a one random brush collection and just snatching that nose. Now I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. liquid liner in this electric blue. I really don't know the name, like I said. Comment down below and I'll let you know. Um, and just watering my eye line because I wanted my eye, my water lines to pop. So I just gave it a little blue, you know? What is wrong with a little blue? I don't know. Oh yeah, I'm going in, just blending that pink out underneath my eye. And I'm also going to be putting glitter underneath my eye, which I did, I don't know where the clip went. That there is City Claire, um Rose Gold Ombre Highlighter. It's not ombre anymore because I had to pack it up, but I like this highlighter on me. It would definitely look better on a lighter person. Ooh, it'll look really good on a lighter person, but it looks good on me as well, too. And I'm going to take that Fenty Beauty, which is gold, but y'all going to see how it mixed together well. I'm highlighting it the fuck up because I told y'all I want it to be bronze bronze. Okay. So after highlighting my life away, I'm going to go ahead and set my face with the Black Radiance Fix and Set Setting Spray. Now I overdid it. I'm drenched, but it's going to be mad high and it's going to all over here and be all good to me. I promise you. It's going to be good to me, honey. It's healthy. <laughs> Stop. 